Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this particular lecture, we are going to talk about DNA topology. Another word is to discuss about the linking number of DNA. If you are confused about linking number, the value of twist, the value of writhe, and what do we mean by twist and writhe, how to get a linking number, and what this linking number suggests us about the DNA topology, then this video is just for you because here we are going to discuss about this linking number and DNA topology process as an overall concept. The very first thing that I want you to understand is the, the terms that is the linking number. The linking number term uh, is a, it has two components to it. The linking number, okay. So linking number, I can say linking number LN or LK, whatever you write. The linking number or L value here equals to uh, T or TW plus WR. So TW means a twist, twist, and WR is a ride. That is ride. Okay. So the linking number we get is composed of twist and a ride together. Now what we mean by this twist and ride? To understand this twist and ride component we need to understand, we need to see the structure of the DNA. You need to be able to understand the structure of the DNA in order to get it. Now we know that DNA is a helical structure. So if I draw like this, it's going to be something like this, a helical structure. Now when we draw DNA like this, it's just a segment of the DNA in a straight uh, DNA helix. But when we are talking about the linking number, we are talking about a covalently closed circular DNA. That means, in very simple words, uh, we can draw it something like this. I know it's possible to draw like this. Okay, something like this. Covalently, this is closed, remember closed circular DNA. So closed circular DNA is present. In a closed circular DNA, this circular DNA can be present in a relaxed state. Normally, it is present in a relaxed state. In the relaxed state, we can count the number of times one strand of the DNA crosses over the other strand. That is known as the number of turns and that basically is known as the twist number. So twist is the number of times one strand of the DNA crosses over the other strand. So in this particular example, the number of the twist will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight. so I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 times. That will be the twist. The value for the twist here will be 8. But this is the relaxed state. But what happens? In the closed circular DNA, the, the DNA to become relaxed, the DNA remains in different conditions. Conditions where the double stranded helical structure of the DNA wraps around itself. It wraps around itself. And when it wraps around itself, it causes another wrap on itself. The, the wrap of the two strands of the DNA on itself is known as a ride value. So in very simple words, if I state you this, now I am drawing this structure like this for simplicity. So I am ignoring all the twists because I already explained what twist is. Now imagine this closed circular DNA, it is present like this. So when it has a structure like this, instead of a relaxed state here, you can see, we can have one extra, one extra coil inside. So this is not a relaxed state of the DNA. This is the relaxed state when there is no ride. But the moment one strand, I mean both the strands of the DNA wraps around itself. It has two state, two nature. One nature provides over wound 
and another nature under wound over wounding and under wounding now this may also happen that this we are going to see something like this instead of we will have something like this okay it's very difficult to draw without a like 3d image you need to visualize this idea but actually it is composed something like this instead of having a single there are two times where the dna is uh, completely wrapped on itself so the right value here is 2 the right value here is 1 okay this is right 1 this is two rights so you may have two three right values and you have the twist value we know how to calculate the twist value because the dna is not linear like this the strands two separate strands they are coiled as a helix now i need to tell you the understanding of these values of the twist and the values of the uh, right the idea of over wounding and under wounding concept is more predominant in case of a twist what we can clearly see in case of twist is that let's say this is the relaxed state of the closed circular dna now what we have it forms something like this very similar so it has eight twists so now what we are where we are doing one two three four five six i think uh, we'll have this one two something like this if i if i draw so how much we are going to get here nine i need to little bit modify it so it was earlier how many uh, twists were there eight but now if you look at the number of twists 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 twists are there. Or there may be a possibility where we have lesser number of twists. There may be a possibility like this. And we have like this. So, this is another example where we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, twist number is 6 for this example so this was the relaxed state of the dna closed circular dna and the twist number was 8 now in this case the twist number increased to 9 whenever the twist number increases by plus 1 plus 2 whatever that is known as a positive super coiling this is also known as over wounding over wounding of the dna over wounding and under wounding concept as I mentioned is more applicable to the twist value. So whatever number of twist you can see which is increased from the relaxed state that is positive super coiling and if the twist number decreases from the relaxed state that is under wounding and that is known as a negative super coil. So in case in this case we have a negative super coiling for a result the twist number decreased from 8 to 6 and in this case we have increment in the twist number from 8 to 9 that is a positive supercoiling. So negative and positive supercoiling comes from the change in the twist number. Clear? So the twist number can be positive or it can be negative. Positive twist means there is a positive supercoiling in the DNA negative twist means there is a negative supercoiling in the dna clear if you want to talk about more regarding the supercoiling part i have a separate video for that you can watch it but this video is for linking number and linking number have two components twist and ride twist can be positive and negative and explained what those positive negative means now about this ride which is a whole two strands of the dna is wrapped around itself that is ride so this is zero ride this is ride 1, this is ride 2. So in cases of ride, we also have, in cases of ride, we also have a positive value and a negative value. How do we know about it? Which, which one is positive, which one is negative? In case of ride, remember, 
negative and positive raid signifies that the pattern of how exactly the dna is folding or the helix is folding clear because the helix folds in multiple ways the helix folds in multiple ways because the right values denotes the directionality of the folding of the directionality of the folding of the helix if the helix let's say this is the direction of the helix movement and if this movement is a uh, right handed like this so this is my axis on the top and this is the directionality of folding so the folding will be something like this that is a right handed a right handed helix okay and another example sorry just a moment so i'll take a different color to explain we'll start from here like this so don't see this one in the middle see this two only this one and this one the black one and blue one not this one so the black one you can see it is a right handed helix and the blue one is left handed helix left handed helix so we have two kinds of helix here right handed and left handed helix very clearly you can see now how the right is related to this if we have a right handed helix that is with the right value positive and left handed helix we have a right value negative so the right value can also be positive and negative but the positive and negative right value corresponds to the right handed and left handed helix formation respectively while a positive and negative twist value is responsible to talk about positive and negative supercoiling of the dna this positive negative supercoiling is a possibility of a clo covalently close circular dna which is the genome of bacteria the bacterial chromosome present in this format so all this idea that we have discussed till now is very commonly visible and seen and found in prokaryotes okay so this is how we calculate now if you want to calculate the linking number either you represent it as only l or lk or ln whatever the value will be t plus w t is the twist w is the raid and we know how to count them we know how to calculate them so if in the exam they provided you a picture from that picture you can clearly see how exactly how many number of turns are there like twists are there and also you can understand how many rides are there a ride is very easy to understand now how to know whether it's positive or negative ride again depends on the situation of how exactly they are uh, moving for example if i draw it like this okay this is uh, with this red color if i draw it like this okay and let's say this is a situation where i'll draw it like this so that you'll understand the red one which is shaded here that means this shaded regions is in the top and non shaded region is in the bottom the same way is possible something like this okay and i'll also shade this region for you to understand the concept of right plus and right minus okay okay you can see this two situations in one example both both the state of the dna contains right one but the right one is plus one or minus one you can understand there is a difference because the shaded particular shaded part of the dna is on the top in this left hand side and the shaded part is in the bottom and non shaded region is in the top in the right hand side so with this we have two category plus one right minus one right that's how the right is different and how exactly you call it plus one and minus one remember plus one means it is a positive super coil i mean uh, the right handed super coil otherwise it is a left handed super coil okay was uh, right handed and left handed super coil so in this case the super coiling you can see the this one is something like this i'll take this so it starts here 
so the coiling is facing this direction and this coiling is facing this direction so you can clearly state from this angle of drawing okay so because this is basically facing this direction so this direction this will be the positive uh, negative this is the negative right this is the positive right positive right is when the axis based on the axis the helix is moving in the right hand direction while negative right is when uh, the helix is moving in the left hand direction based on that we have positive and negative right calculations that's how we do not this one remember this is positive right negative right okay that's what we we have seen in this particular example this is the right handed turn and this is the left turn so ultimately in the left turn the angle is facing this direction this arrow this is left turn so right negative and this is right turn or right positive so this is what you need to understand once you know this you know this that the concept will become very easy the linking number equals to twist plus right and this value of twist and right can be either positive negative for right also can be positive negative okay that's always a possibility so let's say let's assume the twist number is plus 8 and the right is minus 2 then the total linking number would be 6 or plus 6 and if the twist is minus 8 and the right is minus 2 it will be minus 9 if the twist is minus 8 right is plus 2 then it's going to be minus 6 okay in this way we have different values of our linking number so this is what linking number is all about this is what dna topology topology is all about and the dna normally present in the relaxed state the moment you change the twist it become uh, like stressful for the dna to be present so that's why they create ride in order to relax itself from and free itself from the stress that is applied due to the change in the twist number so ride comes as a product of the twist that we do from the relaxed state so either we can make it overwound or underwound overwound means positive supercoiling underwound means negative supercoiling so if you understood this lecture I know this might be little tough for some of you to understand but if you want if you understood this till this level you will never ever forget this and second thing the concept of twist right the concept of linking number and the concept of negative and positive supercoiling would be super clear in your brain so if you like this video please hit the like button and rewatch this lecture couple of times in order to get it clearly in your brain and if you like then please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye